Grease. The movie. Is it really about Grease? Or is it a message to look back? At the Greeks. We're supposed to look back. We're supposed to go back. We are gods. We are goddesses. We are stars. We come from the stars. The sun is our energy. It deflects off the stars. And um, we fly here. We appear here through the planet. It's like a threading system. Sewing machine, if you know how a sewing machine works, it all goes around. It goes down and up through the little loop and then it goes to the star. So the star is not a number, but it has a vibration. It's a number vibration. So your birthday, it's not really your birthday. It's a number that's just there to represent the rock that the sun hit the star when you were born, when you came here. Place marker, because your real birthday is your first memory, but it doesn't matter about any birthday numbers. It just matters about the vibration that your special car that you rode in on, what this is decoded with or encoded with and it will be the number the vibration that was closest to when you were here before the dream when you were here before and all the dreams that you dream are just communications with the sun and the planet it's like a threading and dreams are like the motherboard the message board but the meeting when you sleep the meeting is like the motherboard and it's um it's where you download with um because this is your generator and the planet creates the generator you see we're like a simulated generator and we create things we create energy we create memories and the memories are encoded in the sun as a vibration number but a vibration and then it gets encoded to the star your star you share that number star with other people maybe but you should have it's like a it's like a it's like a jukebox um it's like a jukebox playing all kinds of rock songs <laughs> just imagine everything in the jukebox is a star and you can pull out each one like a record and um you can encode your experiences into the record and that creates a part of the song from the star, you see? It's um, like a giant database smorgasbord of um, energy that's getting encoded. The sun helps to do it because we come through the sun. We are the spark. Like, this represents, this represents, um, this is like a mini sun god and it's it represents electricity heat what we are heat and um, so the fire is just a little bit of the sun it's a representation of the sun and we are being encoded with that because that's who we are so it helps us you see we go back and forth with it and 
when you're with it, when you create this and, and you talk to the you talk to the fire, you talk to the heat, you talk in the shower, that's where you get shower thoughts. It's not the water that's giving you the thoughts, it's the heat. The heat is the communication. You have to stay warm. The sun is, um, it's not about the sunlight. The light is a distraction. The heat of the sun is what it's all about, and that's where we come from. You know, because people die when it's cold, you see? And people go crazy when it's cold. People are much happier in the summer. Um, and it's, um, it's who we are. We are um, heat. We are representations of uh, the pyramids. The pyramids are us. We are them. We are the Ankh. The pyramids are made of limestone. It's heat stone. I found a heat stone yesterday when I was digging. It stayed hot for like 10 minutes. I don't even know what kind of stone it is, but it stayed hot for 10 minutes after all of the other stones that I found were cool after I, I laid them in the sun, but that thing stayed hot and it was heavy and thick. And that's how the pyramids are. Um, the limestone is just like that. It's heavy and thick and our bones are like that too. Our bones hold heat. The copper that they had on top of the pyramids was um, it that represents our blood. You know, and they put it on the outside of the um, outside so everybody could see it, but they believed in the underworld. So the underworld was just um, energy world. <laughs> um, it was, uh, they knew that everything existed together. The dirt is alive. They knew that the dirt is alive. They knew. The stories will be encoded in the dirt. Do you know how many bodies are buried in the dirt? And it's alive. <laughs> they knew that. So they put a replica, a symbol of our bodies outside of um, the dirt. Built it. So we are the pyramids. When we come through the sun, to create our bodies what we're going to be that's where we check in that's where we're created there's boy girl sphinx i don't know the whole setup but that's where we come in um i was told that the three there's three the three little pyramids that represents the stomach that's all i know maybe that's just the middle core of us but it looks a little less um, important. I mean, it's part of this show, but it looks a little, uh, it's not as important as the big ones because the big ones represent something. We're here because the pyramids are here. And, um, <clears throat> that's who we are. It's a, it's all to represent a language of vibration. The first language was vibration. The ancients were very thoughtful. They were sitting around all day doing nothing but smoking weed and studying patterns of vibration and studying the stars. They were geniuses. They wrote it all down. Who, who, Whoever's in charge now, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to run the planet. They don't know the order of everything. And um, these people were very thoughtful, and they gave us the code. They left it there. Since they believed in the underworld, um, the dual world, it's just to let you know that you can go back and... Um, you can do it right. And um, you have to find yourself. And it's easy to do. It's just follow, it's pay attention to the patterns. Um, 
in all of the numbers. Look at every, read everything as a number. All of your friends, your family, your kids, whatever. All of their birthdays. Just write it down. Start writing things down. And the story will start unfolding itself. But... <clears throat> Since the ancients were so thoughtful, they did leave the symbols here for us to find. And um, it doesn't just mean that um, you should look at the pyramids one way. That setup is for infinity. We are not believing in infinity right now. We believe in looking at our phones and media and silly stories and negativity and silly news stories. But all of those silly news stories that you are seeing are not just for anybody else in the whole world. They're just for you to see. If you see something in your vision, it's for you. It's just a message if it didn't happen to you. So read it as a number. Read everything in the message as a number and start to notice the little, the little changes the little patterns, they're slow patterns, but you'll start to see it if you pay attention and exist in the numbers. That's how the, the number language works. The pyramids were put there for everything. You put that underground, we power things. Everybody's been putting it on top of the ground but they haven't been thinking about how thoughtful the ancients were. So everything's been built on the outside of the ground. But people, they don't really understand the power of copper. They don't understand how it powers us. There's so much copper in our blood. Our blood is just pretty much copper. I think that's why they stopped making copper pennies because, I don't know, maybe they stopped killing people and stopped using um, their blood to make uh, copper pennies, I guess, because that happened, you know, it stopped happening at a certain point. That's where copper comes from, it's like, it's part of the planet, that proves how we are part of the planet. Copper, blood, bones, limestone. How, how could somebody not understand how we would come from the star as a reflection, like a mirror world reflecting off of the sun down here. Why wouldn't our energy do that? Because some people would call me crazy. But I went to the beginning. I watched Grease Lightning, <laughs> or Grease. I saw it. It's Greek Lightning. It's not Grease Lightning. It's Greek. That's to look at Greece. That's the message from the planet. That's how funny Tesla is. That's how crazy the planet is. That's how amazing Jeb is. And that's how everything proves it's all a big fun game. Nothing is sad unless you make it sad. Nothing will come into your life sad if you don't believe in that. You vibrate that, it comes right back to you. We are the we are the pyramids. We're the pyramids. Do you see how much they attract people? A wonder of the world? Look at us. We attract people. We attract everything. We're magnets. And it's not just this person's going to everybody's house and everybody has the same, 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 and everybody's the same. Oh no, we're not. We're not the same. Don't have the same vibrations. I have a worker, retire, I am tired, vibration, nine, that's tired, hella smart, hella work, worker bee my whole life, and I know I was just work, 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 but then there's the one vibration, and they just, they have different vibrations, they're like, oh, go-getters, they want to go, 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 you know, they'll ask hella questions, and no, I just want to take a nap, and I've been wanting to take a nap ever since I was two. I loved it, and I was very independent. I was a feral child. Feral. And everybody knew it. And my mom 
called me special for it. I was left alone because everybody knew I would be all right. Because <laughs> I've always had a friend, you see? But everything has to do with the order of the pyramids and talking in the numbers. Just watch Greece. If you can picture Danny as Tesla and um, imagine he wrote that because he believed and existed in the energy. That's who he was. He would have raced that car. He would have created a car <laughs> in this existence, in the future. This is totally him. And how I know is because I have all kinds of visions just like he did and we share the same birthday. So he had a, there was this one picture, he was wearing the swimming instructor uh, shirt and he was uh, laying on the beach with some girl. And I, immediately I thought of uh, all of the swimming things I've ever encountered with him. Osiris, I think Osiris drowned that was Osiris speaking through Tesla, and I believe Osiris, he just travels through the, he travels through the sixes, through the numbers. So he went, when um, Tesla, he had like an, a near drowning accident when he was, a, I think, a teenager, and he thought he was going to die, and eventually something saved him got him off of the waterfall, it was, he was stuck to like this waterfall thing. Like the, his dam was like, he was on the dam and, and it was just, it was not good. So, and then I had a vision when I was a little girl, I was just left alone to go swimming at everywhere I was, everywhere, places. But I remember this one time, I it never happened to me, but I, I was having visions of being stuck to a pool drain, like a big giant pool drain, like it sucked me all the way down. And um, so I'm terrified of drains, terrified, terrified. Oh, I, I don't like them at all. Any kind of drain, toilet drains, pool drains, anything inside of water, terrifying. And I, I don't know, maybe something saved me. Maybe I fell and hit my head when I was alone because I was usually alone. And maybe I fell to the bottom of the pool and maybe it sucked me or something. And maybe Osiris saved me since I have a six in my name. And that happened with the electrocution thing too when I was pregnant and I got stuck on the horse fence. I was six months pregnant and I got stuck on the horse fence. An electric horse fence, I didn't know anything about it. And it was up at a ranch here in Don Castroville. Um, and, um, but something after, like, I couldn't get off for, like, 15, 20 seconds, something, like, it felt like I, I had extra power, kind of gave me some bravery power, and I pulled myself off. It was, in, it was insane. So I connect all of those with Tesla and the vibration of our birthday is July 10th, and that's the peak of the year, which it's not a year, it's just a vibrational pattern that's been going on forever. So you would still be here without a birthday, you would, you would just be here on a vibrational train, you see, and you would have come through the sun down from the, through the pyramids because the sun's right over the pyramids. It's directly over the whole setup. You see, and I think the copper was on there as a deflector for the sun. That's helping with the heating up of the planet. It's It was deflecting the sun. <laughs> so, it's uh, all about getting back on track. You can even make your period match up with the, with the moon. That's how amazing we are. Women will understand that and it has to do with getting your energy on the same level of the planet 
like aligning your because you are part of you are the planet you are made of the planet there's nothing man-made about us we are from the planet you don't you don't even remember being born <laughs> but we can go back and we can um we can go back to being a child energy that clean energy eat from the planet smoke weed and it brings you to the energy of the planet and you can become aligned it's it's insane i i remember i was so irregular when i was young younger i was skipping all over the place like it was insane but ever since i've been paying attention and i made my life an experiment everything is aligned now i know exactly when i'm gonna start when the full moon is here oh bloody mary bloody mary bloody mary <laughs> it's pretty cool how um how it works it's it's not shut off your phone shut that fucking trump up and get off the news and get off of the porn and bullshit and news and unless you're going to read it in the numbers don't look at it but just pretend everything is number porn porn now is going to be numbers we even have robotics coming into you know with the people so we're here we just have to learn how to speak in the numbers it's uh, just a vibe it's a vibration everything is about a number your name order your birthday record it all write it down all of your dreams all of the ones that you remember those are the ones you need to connect because those are you're sharing with somebody else you've got to find out who you're sharing with compare you're supposed to talk to people that's what these ones are for you're supposed to find people find your name then start asking other people what their names are. That's the way to make conversation. Hey, what's your name? Hey, what's your birthday? Not what's your sign. It has not, It doesn't matter about a sign. It matters about the vibrational pattern, the number. Get the numbers. Get the numbers. Start writing notes about people. That's what we're supposed to do. That's how you get to know people. That's how the ancients were dealing, you know? Very in depth, very in tune. Infinity is here, and energy is everything. It's not just infinity, it's everything. That's what energy should be called, everything. It's like a blanket. It's a big giant spider web blanket, but that's how we do it. We get people's names write down everything and compare because my daughter my youngest daughter shares the same birthday that Van Gogh's brother Teo his wife they have the same um, they have the same birthday she was her in a past life that's how close my energy is because Tesla and Van Gogh were friends, and they were a part of a soul tribe. And so I look and I can see everybody, all of the people in the July 10th vibration should have similar to Tesla. So that's my luck. <laughs> I have a very good energy number to look back on and I use Tesla as my everything as my compass and so I even look as my, at my doppelganger Jessica Simpson her her birthday is my birthday we were born on the exact same day and 1980 we have the same uh, birthday same year vibration nine you could tell she's a nine and um, her birthday or her name is Jessica Simpson. It's Jessica Ann Simpson. But Jessica Simpson is uh, 7 7, Vincent Van Gogh. You see? Doppelganger. All right. And then Jessica Ann. I think it's Ann. But it's Jessica Ann. And um, that's 11. And in my name, 
I have, um, in my name I have uh, 11. So it's five and six, that's 11. And I was married into a Greek name. I originally had a German kind of name. It sounded like a Hitler. And, um, but now I, w I was married into a Greek name. So now I have uh, the Greek name by proxy. <laughs> And I'm, uh, and I have the Venus de Milo marks, and um, I'm also Native American because my mom was adopted, and uh, my mom had the vibration of Amelia Earhart. She drove a truck. She drove for North American, and um, I used to go with her on uh, her truck rides in her bed, and I would just lay in the bed, and um, we talk on her CB radio, and. Um, so, six and seven is the vibration of Amelia Earhart, and that was my mom. So, I can see all of the little quirks and uh, little ghost patterns that nobody else can see. But now that I can see them and I can tell them to everybody, because everybody's trying to explain it. Now that I could tell it to everybody, they're going to be able to study their patterns as well and that's how you can start talking to people tell them about the number language teach people study it study people and their numbers look at businesses look at the names of the businesses and see how many letters they have in their names the ones who uh, don't have like the greatest vibration uh, you, you can just see who might fail you know, but people, they put certain, however many letters is in the name of uh, anything, the business, let's just say it's a business, it'll carry the vibration, the original vibration language of the planet. So I went to the store yesterday, I went to Lucky, that's five, that's the vibration of um, Earth, Venus. And um, and the people there are they're they're pretty cool. They're all really nice, even though the prices suck. But everybody's like really, it's like a homey, almost homeless camp. <laughs> I love it. It's really neat. It's a nice vibration inside. But but then and across the street is Safeway, and that's seven. And people, it's it's a uh, it's like a casino in there almost. It's a, uh, I don't know. It's just different. It has a different vibration to it. But every place that you go will have a certain vibration. Just compare, just feel it when you go and do a study. Pay attention to the letters, the numbers, and then go in and pay attention to what you experience in there. Because the name of the place is representing the vibration that was always there. You see? It was named a certain name for a reason. The planet had a plan for what was going to be sitting on top of it before those people even knew that. People don't just go do things. The planet tells them to go do things through its uh, vibration. It doesn't have to wake you up. You don't have to wake up. Your energy doesn't have to go inside of your body. Mm -mm. No, that's uh, an agreement. You could go inside of a dream. You could die. <laughs> Dying is just waking up inside of a dream. And you know how real dreams can be. Can you imagine just waking up inside of your, like, fairy tale? Can you imagine that? That's how it works. This is fairy tale land. Neverland? We're here. You just have to stop looking at things in a negative way and erase the past hundred years. That's why Tesla avoided the whole 1900s. So he could help us. So he could control this place. That's what he did. Took an exit. Like a gentleman would do. Became God. Jeb, Osiris, Helios, the sun, God. Tesla, he has risen. Bay Area, New Egypt. <laughs>